Do you know what Arch Linux has used to manage its repos for most of its life? Handling the package builds, bringing in patches for the packages and things like this. If you said git, you would be very mistaken. The actual answer is Apache subversion, normally just called SVN. Now, prior to Git hitting the scene, things like SVN, CVS, and things like this were really popular. Nowadays though, and really quickly after Git hit the scene, they started to die out of favour, and most of the projects using those nowadays are projects that were using them back then, and then just never migrated away. Arch Linux is one of those projects. That's at least until the end of the week because Arch Linux has announced the Git migration. Later on, I'll get into why they used SVN for so long and didn't migrate to Git years ago, but before we get to that, I want to talk about the effect this is going to have on you as a regular Arch Linux user, someone who isn't a package maintainer, someone who just downloads packages and goes about your day. For the most part, this should be, assuming nothing goes wrong, assuming a bunch of packages aren't deleted and nobody makes any other weird mistakes, this should be a mostly clean migration. Once it's done, you should just be able to upgrade with Pac-Man and you didn't even notice a difference. But there is going to be some changes with some of the repo names. So right now we have the community and the extra repo. The community repo are extra packages on Arch Linux that came from the AUR. They've been brought up and made into an official package. Whereas the extra repo are extra packages you might want to install on Arch, but aren't things that make sense to be in the core repos. They aren't things that are fundamental to Arch Linux, but you're probably going to want to install them. But these two repos, they basically contain similar software. It's extra things and extra things. So what's going to happen is the community repo is going away, but not the packages inside. What is happening is the repos are being merged together, and now there is just the extra repo. The second major change is if you use the testing repo, this repo is being split into two separate repos core dash testing and extra dash testing, which judging by the name, it's pretty obvious what is going to be inside. They are the testing repos for their respective stable repos. And the third major thing that's happening is the same is happening to the staging repo. This is being split into core dash staging and extra dash staging. Now, assuming everything is done properly by Arch Linux, there should be an announcement when the migration is done, and this should include all of the things you need to follow to make sure everything is working fine. But from my understanding, basically all you will need to do is update your pacman.conf. So right now mine has core, extra, community, and I have multi-lib down here as well. Multi-lib isn't changing. So what you would need to do is if you're using testing, just add in core dash testing and extra dash testing. And also you can safely get rid of community. Now you don't have to get rid of community right away. Initially, it's just going to point to an empty repo and just won't be able to download anything. But it's probably best to get rid of it as quickly as possible to make sure that problems don't happen into the future. Now, before anyone goes and makes the changes right away, don't. Wait until Arch says the migration is done and then make the changes. If you make them now, you're going to have a broken version of Pac-Man and you won't be able to update anything the way you would normally expect. Now, they say they're going to announce the migration completion on the Arch Dev public mailing list. I really hope, for any of the Arch Devs watching this, because I know some of you do, this is not the only place this is announced. Please mention this in the Arch newsfeed. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of people over on Reddit very confused why Arch Linux is now broken, and I'll probably have to make another video. And I don't want to do that, because this should be a good time. The migration is a good thing. Now, during this migration, all of the mirrors are going to be frozen. There are going to be no package updates, nothing like that. So if you're being lazy about updating your system, you can go and update during that period and nothing else is going to come out. You have a couple of days when nothing is really happening. 
This is from Friday the 19th of March 2023, hopefully if nothing goes wrong, to Sunday the 21st of March 2023. Assuming nothing goes wrong, which is very possible. Now on the development side, some things are obviously changing as well. Because everything is moving to Git, the SVN access is obviously going away. Along with this, the SVN to Git mirror is going away as well. Because everything is now going to be on Git, there is no reason to have a mirror that converts things from SVN into Git. So in a way, they've already been using Git on the back end, it's just the back end of the back end was SVN. Also, if you've ever done anything with the AUR, you would know that each of the individual packages are also a Git repo. Now, that hasn't always been the case. In its very, very early life, it was an FTP server. But that wasn't a good idea, and it's why it's not used today. So this change pretty much just unifies everything onto Git. But this is not the first time that Arch Linux has done a repo migration. All the way back in the very early days of Arch Linux, back when it first started in 2002, they weren't using SVN. This was also three years prior to Git existing. Back then, they were using a separate system called Concurrent Version System, more commonly just called CVS, and they used this from about 2002 to 2008. And then from 2008 to 2010, that's when they're doing the migration from CVS into SVN. And you might think, okay, if it's 2008 then, why wouldn't you just go with Git? Git was already being used, it was made for the Linux kernel, it seemed like it was going to be a really good project, and looking back on it nowadays, like, Git is clearly the source control system that everybody likes using. The reason they didn't use it is pretty simple. So, Arch Linux is an old distribution. I believe the choice was between Git and SVN. This is from Fox Braun, a developer and on the security team. Git was, however, deemed immature at that point in time, so SVN was utilized. Yes, Git was made for the Linux kernel, it was made for this giant project, and Linus Torvalds absolutely knew what he was doing. And yes, it was gaining a lot of traction. But, SVN had been around for a very long time, it was well worn, it was well tested, and it seemed like the more stable option to go with. Now, once the migration is done, you might be wondering where you can find all the repos and packages. Everything is going to be available on the Arch Linux GitLab. Right now, either nothing is here or nothing is being shared publicly, but this is the place you go. I'll leave it in the description down below and check it out in a couple of days, I guess. For me, the important thing about the migration is that every single package is going to be in its own dedicated repo. This is exactly the same way it works over on the AUR, and this is why I am really, really excited about the migration, because this allows for something really cool. So Arch Linux, like every distro out there that cares about making itself better, Arch Linux has a bug tracker. And this bug tracker has served Arch Linux well for a very long time. But do you know what GitLab has? GitLab has a built-in bug tracker called Issues, and it also has built-in merge requests. And do you know what this means? You are going to be able to submit issues and merge requests for individual packages and actually help out Arch Linux making it a better distro. Before you get too excited, this is not happening straight away. This is something that's going to happen in the long run as things get dealt with. So for what it's worth, this won't be enabled after the initial migration. We need better tools to deal with this. It will happen in a separate migration at a later point. But that doesn't mean they are not currently working on it. So right now, there is archiving and backup of all the issues on the bug tracker. So it is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Currently, there isn't really a time frame on when it's going to happen. But soon, TM, sometime in the future, this will happen. 
This change is absolutely massive. Now I know what someone's going to say. Can't you already submit bug reports and merge requests to Arch? Why does that change even matter? Well, let me ask you a simple question. Do you know how to submit a bug to Arch or how to submit a patch? Well, what you would do is you would go to the Arch Linux bug tracker. You would make an account on their bug tracker, a bug tracker that you've never used before, and you have no idea how it's supposed to work. You have no idea where things are supposed to be filled out. It's a completely new experience for you. Okay, you managed to work that out. How do you submit a patch? I don't know. I have no idea. Is it through their mailing list? Is it through the bug tracker itself? Do you need SVN access? I don't know, because it's not a workflow that is accessible to the regular Linux user. You have to go through the Arch documentation, find out their process, and go from there. If everything is just on the GitLab, you've probably used GitLab before, and if you are not use GitLab, you've probably used GitHub, and it works very similar. And you've used Git before, you understand how that works. It's a much simpler method, and is going to allow a lot more people to actually get involved in Arch. It's not that it was impossible to work on Arch before. Obviously, there are people that work on Arch. But making this change removes barriers that just didn't need to be there and brings the workflow online with a more modern and optimized workflow that a lot more developers are familiar working with. Now, whilst this change hasn't been a part of the common discourse about Arch, it's not like the change was a secret that people just didn't know about. It's just people didn't really talk about it. Alan McRae, the developer of Pac-Man, has been talking about this for a couple of years. I'm hoping the move of the repos to GitLab at some future point will allow users to directly submit patches towards package builds and will partially address this. This was related to when uh, Arch Linux hadn't updated Glibc and GCC. That's probably never going to happen again if we have people that can actually submit patches to things. But there is also a need to bring more people onto the team, and this is an area that could be targeted. Also, there is a page over on the Arch Wiki about this, and one directly from Foxbron. Now, as for the Arch derivatives, places like Arch Linux 32, they are fully aware of the change being made, and there might be some changes they need to do over on their side that will probably slow their updates down for like a couple of days a week, depending on the project. And other projects like Arch Labs are also aware, but most of the projects based on Arch Linux probably won't need to change anything. A lot of the projects are just pulling directly from the Arch repos. The only thing they would need to change is the pacman.conf. Places like Manjaro, they might have a bit of extra work to do, but I would imagine most of these distros are fully aware of the change and are working on things in the background, even if they haven't mentioned it. And everything should, assuming the Arch team doesn't make a mistake, be as smooth as possible. So on that note, hopefully it goes well. If anybody is watching this who happens to be involved in the Arch team, please make sure the news announcement goes out. Please, please, I don't want to, I don't want to make another video ranting about you guys not knowing what you're doing, please. But uh, besides that, um, hopefully the migration goes well, and anybody using Arch, did you know about the migration happening? Do you care about the migration? Do you think it should have been done years ago? Or do you think they should just stuck with SVN? I would love to know. So if you like the video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become an over, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scribe, Sully, Berapay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I hope you guys have backups so someone, if they make a mistake, it can be reverted.